Hi friends, this is your video assignment for this week. I have been obsessing and obsessing and obsessing over how am I going to record myself teaching y'all how to do an assessment on students. And I have been putting it off and putting it off. And last night I had an epiphany and I'm going to explain to you what happened and hopefully it will offer you some insight into how stressed us as teachers have been. Okay, so this year, this is the first year that I have not worn makeup to school. I am 41 years old and that was a very liberating experience for me. If you can see, I packed my makeup to bring with me to put on at school so I could record this video and I decided I'm not doing that because why should I do that to myself? And that's my point of making you this video. Why am I going or why should we whenever this is not a perfect situation, okay? Why should we put more stress on ourselves and your children that we don't need to? in order to assess them. We test these kids too much. And the fact is, the simple fact is they're not ready, okay? And let me tell you why. Last week, whenever I was supposed to be, well, we, we got a little bit of a head, okay? So last week I was ahead with my class and I was gonna try to deliver the assessment to them and figure out a way to record myself teach you how to do the assessment and me as a college educated professional teacher I did not finish the assessment with my class simple as that they're not ready so this is what I'm telling you we aren't gonna do that to me we aren't gonna do that to you and most importantly we're not gonna do that to your kids because whenever they are able to come back to school, I will catch them up, okay? I'm not worried. I will catch them up if they fall behind. It's not going to be a big deal. The most important thing is for you to review the skills that we have been teaching you. It's not a perfect world. The videos are not a replacement for my class instruction. They're just not. It's what we're trying to do to, I guess, try to replace me as an instructor in your home. But I don't expect you to replace me as your teacher, just as you would not expect me to replace you as the parent, okay? So we trade off. It takes a village to raise a child, okay? So this is your assignment for this week. <laughs> I had this epiphany last night and I hope it works out well. Okay, so I had this thought that in class, whenever I'm teaching the sight words, okay, we literally write them in the air and we sing little songs with them, okay? So we go, O-N-E, we are number one. Simple as that, okay? T W O two two. You can teach that to them, okay? T H R E E three three three. That's literally all we do in class. They are called sight words for a reason. You cannot sound them out. You have to know them by sight. I saw a video of a parent, which I know it was probably just a silly video, but I kind of took, I kind of took it the wrong way, maybe a little bad because I am an educator. You know, it was a parent making fun of how you should teach sight words to kids and how are you supposed to sound them out? And she was saying, t eh, for thee. That doesn't work because it is a sight word. You need to know it by sight, okay? So, sight words. Whenever you do sight words, whenever we do them in class, that's literally what we do. And then, for independent work, a lot of the times, get yourself a dollar can of shaving cream. Put a little on the table, 
flatten it out, and then you can write your words in that, okay? You need to just spell them out. You can write them with a fancy pen. You can write them with markers. You can rainbow write them. I'll send you a list of everything you can do with sight words, okay? And as far as the assessment, like I said, we're not gonna do that to each other. I'm not doing it to you. You're not doing it to me. We're not doing it to your kids, okay? In place of that, I would like for you to review this week. I want you to make a set of flashcards on regular note cards that have all the sounds that we've learned so far, okay? Make those, practice writing them. What sound matches this picture? If it's the k, you know, write them down. Match the picture to the sound. Write it, say it, write it, say it. Repetition, repetition, repetition. That's what we do in class. That's what's gonna work, okay? I have another suggestion, okay? For the sounds and for the sight words, you can even do this with numbers. I want you to go get a board game. I'm gonna try to suggest Candyland because I think it's pretty cheap. I'm thinking about doing this with my class, but I would like for you to go get a board game and play it with your child, okay? For one, it's gonna give them practice taking turns. Most board games, you have to roll a die. That's gonna give them practice counting. Most board games, you have to move that many spaces, so that's gonna help them counting also. On the spaces that they land, I want you to write the letters that we've learned so far, and as we learn new letters, add them to the spaces. Write the sight words on the spaces. Write some numbers on the spaces. When you land on a space, ask your child, what sound does this make? What number is this? Can you show me five fingers? Anything like that. Play a game with your child. I want you to enjoy your child because I enjoy your children and I cannot wait for them to come back to class, okay? So, I wanted to record this to you to say that you are doing an amazing job. An amazing job. I feel like we are making a great team co-teaching your child while you're at home in the middle of this global pandemic, okay? So, I'm saying this to say, when I did the assessment with the children, I felt defeated. I didn't even finish it. So why should I do that to you? I'm not, okay? I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want you stressed out. And I want us both to be able to work together to educate your child as best we can during this pandemic, okay? I think you're doing a great job. I hope you're thinking the same thing from me. Now you've put a face to my name. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go home, enjoy your kid play a game. All right. See y'all next week.